What is up guys? Welcome back. And welcome those of you that are new. Um, I've decided to pick up this game. I think it's a really, really well made game. Like, you know, NCSoft was, is definitely a company that has a lot of experience before in making games. This is their first take of the, you know, play, trying to make a new mobile game. Um, I don't think they, they've done any before, not to my knowledge. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I think it's really well made. Like, a, a lot of the systems, um, a lot of things in this game makes it pretty fun. And it actually suits me pretty well because it's not a game where you can repeatedly farm. Like, like um, it's not a game where you you have to sit there 24/7 um, and farm as much as possible. You actually don't have enough energy to to actually do that. Maybe in the future, like through events or something, you might be able to do it. But for for now, I think it's a little bit difficult, especially with the cost of um, refilling. Or, or refreshing your your energy, um, it, get, it actually gets quite expensive. Like sometimes, it makes me wonder if I, if it might be worth it to actually save my crystals instead for I think they're called diamonds. Um, save my diamonds instead for summoning and stuff. So this is my first ever video. I've played this game for only one day because it's only been out for one day, and I've learned quite a few things. Um, originally, when I started playing, I actually got stuck quite a lot. Like I did not know what I was doing. I, I basically ran around the game um, going on, going through different maps and just battling and trying to raise the levels of my units up. And at a certain point it was it was alright, like I, I kept progressing and then I would get stuck and then I would go back to a certain map. I would farm a lot, try to raise my level and then try to progress again. Uh, which was what you, you would usually do in, in these types of games. Um, but I actually learned something. I, I've learned a way to th that you should, uh, you should aim to um, to make your unit stronger. So you can look right here. the The border of my units they actually have um, they actually have different different colors. This is like rarity. Basically, like this is pretty standard. Like it go it always goes green. It always goes white to green to blue to to purple. And maybe the next rank is orange or something like that. Uh, it's always something like that. I think it's based off like WoW or something. Like WoW wasn't the thing that invented it, but it was. The, the, the game that like popularized that um, that color color level scheme. Um, so the the number one way to raise the power level of your units is through transmute. This is what you should be aiming for whenever you're trying to raise your your units levels. So you want to collect these materials, um, and then once you collect these materials, you can raise them to the next rank. And what this does, it, it will permanently increase their stats. Um, and at the same time, it also gives you access to to passive skills. I think the second one is only active once you make your your units a blue rank, um, and then after when it gets to purple, um, then you will have access to your third passive skill or third third whatever skill. The other two are usually passive, I think. Yeah, you you only have a um, access to your passive skills after you transmute transmute them enough to a certain rank. I'm not sure how many more ranks I can transmute this unit, but basically there's three ways to make a, a unit stronger through leveling, through transmuting, and through ev evolution. Transmute is probably the easiest way for anyone to aim for, like to actively aim for, because what you can do is you can click on these these materials and actually shows where these materials are dropped and you can just li you literally just click on this and you click go and then it'll take you to the map where you need to farm up these materials. So th basically you just go you make a team, a team that you want to raise and then you, for each one of those units you go through the transmute list and you look at, at whatever materials you need in order to make that unit uh, the next rank. And then you just do that over and over again uh, for your team and that will just basically increase the the overall strength of your team by quite a lot. I think the next next big thing is probably like evolution. Um, this is very very hard. You can only th get pieces through um, certain certain means. Like some certain means. Uh, so you have to either try to try to get the pieces off of. Um, some sometimes they drop off story mode, and sometimes they're only through summons. You can only get them through summons. Um, even the ones that are dropped from story mode, you can't just you, you can't just keep farming them because there's a limit to how many times you can farm normal mode. You can only farm the same map three times a day, so basically you you can only try to get the pieces of a certain unit um, three times a day. 
for any units that you're def you're raising, you should definitely go and farm the story mode on normal mode and try to get the pieces for for that unit um, every single day when you can. And summons kind of limited, like you pretty much can only summon when you have have the resources to do so. Um, you can still get some, you can still get pieces through the free summon. I call it the free summon because this is the this is the summon that you can use. Um, you know, it gives you like five free summons and for for random things. It also gives you um, what are these? Collect a certain amount to get quest rewards. All right, um, I actually did not know what that was, but you can actually get you can you can get soul stones um, through through summoning with your with your gold. And you can also like you're guaranteed to get a lot of soul stones if you summon with your um, with your diamonds. But I would actually save the diamonds for refreshing when you really need to, because there's no way to progress through the game without actually playing through the game. So you know even if you summon, you can't use all the units that you summon. Um, so you probably need to use a lot of your resources to actually actively go and farm, which is I guess fair because. You know, the players that they should like definitely. It should definitely be like if you play more, then you, you'll definitely progress more, and um, you know you'll win in the end. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I think um, I didn't actually understand that yesterday. I mean, this is relatively new. It's only been out for one day. There's no guys or anything, so I thought I, I would just post this. Um, the other thing I kind of want to announce is I started a subreddit for this game. I there wasn't no there was no subreddit for this game. All right, I was looking for guides and all that sh all that shit, and there was no subreddit. I was shocked. I was like, holy shit, there's no subreddit. What do I do? Um, <laughs> how do I how do I figure out what to do? Um, but then I just I just actually just played through the game. You know, I actually went and and read the help of of the game. Like I I never read the help section of any game um, ever. But this is like one of the first times I've ever gone through and read through the the help se section. Actually, that helped me a lot. Um, so what I'm going to be doing on the subreddit is also posting guides. Uh, basically, I'm going to write out what I base what I just just told you guys just now. I'm going to type it out, put it in word format. Also, going to include a link to to this video for those of you that are interested in in um, you know watching it in video form. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's that's my first ever guide for this game. Um, for the for my for my old audience, I haven't quit Monster Super League. Please don't freak out. Like I, <laughs> I decided to pick up a new game on the side. I think it's definitely worth playing. Um, and it's it just started too. Like if you want to start joining and start playing, you can you can be really competitive right now. Um, and you don't have to do a lot on the side. Like you, you just basically. You use up your energy, and you can either choose to refresh, and even if you don't choose to refresh, I think a lot of players aren't choosing to refresh as well, because there's like it, it costs a shit ton for you to um, refill your energy. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.